terms of forming our our pasta, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out to like about a cylinder. This part isn't that important, but in terms mm. of the cutting, I'm just going to show you what it's I mean. About an inch thick, you mean? Yeah, it's this part is. Uh, You don't have to do it exactly this way, but you'll see what we're going to do in a minute. Okay, so this is how we make our hand formed pasta. You can either roll each piece between your hands, okay, or you can, with a little bit of pressure, you kind of, kind of push down and out. And this is where you need a little bit of flour on your board. Okay. This is how we make gnocchi. Yeah. Okay. okay. Don't, do not, do not use more flour than you need. Now, gnocchi, if, if these, you know, traditionally, if these were gnocchi, okay, what we would do is we would roll our dough to about that thickness. Cut about that, that wide, and this is how we would do the gnocchi. Oh, that's how it gets a little round shape. That's exactly. it. That's mm -hmm. it. And with it, people have gnocchi machines. I don't. My grandmother never did. So that's what gnocchi looks like. Cavatelle, on the other hand, is usually traditionally made. It's a little bit thinner. And you can form the shape. I mean, this is the... This is the Kind of tiring, annoying part. You can yeah, form the you can form <coughs> the shape by cutting each piece, and with a knife. Now this is the grandmother way, but then I'll tell you the I'll show you the 2013 way. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen it. Sure. Now you can do each one individually. Or you can do it the way I sort of figured out one night when I was making cavatelli. I'm getting tired of it. Really, I had it. So this is where one of these bench scrapers comes in handy. You just kind of go like oh, yeah, so. All right. That's a good idea. Mass production. Yeah. And you just. Okay, we just made like a dozen 